Hey guys, it's uh, Kyle from Downlane Podcast back here. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell to get alerts from the channel. So I'm here in Las Vegas for the USBC convention, um, an annual meeting. And I just happen to have a few extra hours here uh, on Monday. Um, so it turns out that uh, famed coach Mike Jazz now, uh, PBA champion, um, USBC certified coach um, has a setup here every year um, for a few months and he had some uh, time slots open today so I did bring a few bowling balls and uh, I have been bowling like absolute garbage this past few months or past month rather so um, I decided to uh, schedule a time with uh, Mike Jazz now because you are never too good and I'm not that good to get a lesson from somebody so I've never had a lesson from somebody that hasn't seen my game before. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, and somebody I've never met before. So I'm really excited to see what he has to say, see uh, what I could possibly change or maybe keep the same. I don't know. But um, I'd really like to see um, you know, what his thoughts are uh, for my game coming forward, going forward. So uh, he's here at the Orleans where the convention is, which is really convenient. So I can walk downstairs with my stuff, shoe up and uh, get to the lessons. So um, we're gonna uh, go downstairs to the bowling center and uh, get this lesson going. So check it out, here we go. guys we are here with Mike Jazz now famous bowling coach PBA champion um, I just had a lesson and uh, I think I'm gonna go win a tournament because that was like the most Perfect. unbelievable lesson I've ever had uh, so thank you very much for that um, and uh, so I wanted to get your input like you know why should a bowler go get a lesson uh, little things can make big differences you saw that today. Absolutely. We worked on a couple little things and it corrected through. So you have a trained professional to pick out what's important to work on. And that one thing can change the act to correct other things that you think are problems that are really just results. Right. And if you try to correct the results without correcting the causes, you, you go crazy and get frustrated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely worth to see yourself on video and have a conversation about the game. Yeah. 
I had like one minor thing. Well, no, there was multiple things, but one thing that started everything off in the wrong in my push away that's changed the whole game was, was crazy. So, yeah, Mike helped me out with that, which was awesome. And uh, so, go find a local lesson person or come out here uh, when you're in Vegas. How long are you in Vegas? I'm in Vegas through June 26th here at the Orleans. Right. You can contact me through Facebook, uh, Coach Mike Chandler, or my email is bowlbetter at hotmail.com. Because you do video lessons too, right? I do. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, check Mike out. He is super awesome. All right. Thanks, nice. guys. Hey guys. So um, just finished up with uh, my lesson with Mike Jazz now, and uh, all I have to say is, wow. Um, like I said earlier, I had never had a lesson from somebody that has never seen me before, um, and also, uh, you know, I would say his uh, level of expertise. So. Um, what what an experience if you've never had a lesson before by somebody um either at that level or just even by your local professional or what have you um you need to go do it if you're going to take bowling seriously um we just made some minor adjustments and it just changed a lot of things from the first step to the slide it just what a difference it's just insane so we, we changed something in my push away um, that uh, I was too forceful in my push away. Um, so we eased that up a little bit. Um, then uh, that led to being too forceful in my backswing, being too forceful all the way through. So I was using a lot of force and a lot of muscle, which would then lead to be, lead me to being grabby um, at the foul line. 30 minutes later, um, you know, we're working on the easy push away. Uh, keeping my left hand out in front of me, which is, you know, pretty well known, but I've just never been successful at it because um, I'm a pretty square bowler. Um, and 30 minutes later, I'm, I'm able to keep my my ball, you know, no higher than my head um, in my backswing. My release is consistent. Um, and uh, my hand is out, my left hand is out in front of me through my approach. Um, so what a difference. Now, the important part here is to actually make sure we go practice and um, uh, put these things into effect. So, um, no, it's not a magic pill. It's not gonna change everything right away. Um, but uh, I'm gonna definitely take the list of things that he told me to practice um, and put them into effect right away. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm probably doing something which you shouldn't do. And uh, I'm gonna go bowl in a tournament right now uh, at the Gold Coast. Um, I only brought three balls with me because I was traveling light for this uh, convention. And um, so uh, I'm gonna bowl the BTM here at Gold Coast, which is bowling this month. Um, and uh, they're supposed to be pretty hard here. So uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it goes, practice uh, the stuff Mike told me uh, to do and uh, see, how it, uh, see how it ends up. But uh, like I said, you should definitely be practicing uh, the, the lessons you learn uh, in a lesson like that before you uh, go out and bowl in a serious tournament. But uh, I'm not going to, uh, you know, take this one too hard if I if I don't do well. So, um, all right, guys. Well, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell to get alerts from the channel. Um, and remember, if you're going to take the game seriously, you should always be practicing, working on your game, and get a lesson from somebody like Mike Jazz now or your local professional or somebody that um, can give you some really good tips or hints. All right, have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.